Every car has parts made from hard plastic that cover things, fan housings, fender wells. In my case, it's underneath the uh, front of the car. There's this cover. And here's what it looks like taken off the car. It seems like these parts always break in the worst place, like right on the fold. I spent some time working on getting the parts good and clean. I only used water and a clean rag. I didn't, I didn't use any soap or anything like that. I, I wanted to, didn't want to leave any residue behind. Now, I've never tried to use fiberglass and two-part epoxy to put two pieces together like this before. So this is uh, pretty experimental. I really don't have any experience with fiberglass. So I, I, I thought, well, you know, I've got this broken part. I can either buy a new one or fix the one or try to fix the one I have. And I figured, you know, in worst case scenario, I could always buy a new one. I bought this fiberglass at the local automotive parts store. It came in long strips, uh, which which were plenty wide enough and, and weren't very expensive, very easy to use. The two-part epoxy I used has a 30-minute set time, and it was rated for high temperature. I think it was over over 1,000 degrees. Um, it was kind of what I had on hand. I'm sure there may be better. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, based on my experience, I'd say you need a lot more than what I used. I think a lot more glue would have been good. What I'm doing here is very, very wrong. I am not wearing gloves. The instructions on this glue said that it would absorb through the skin and gave all kinds of dire warnings. Do not do this. Uh, when it came time to do the other side, I, I wised up and put some gloves on, but uh, this is very, very wrong. Do not do this. I'm using just a regular foam paintbrush on this, a cheap foam paintbrush, and uh, I was kind of afraid that it might come apart but it was, once again, what I had on hand, and it did not come apart. It worked just fine. The idea is to get enough glue on the surface that when you put the cloth down, it will soak into the fibers. Um, I had enough, but I really wish I had more. Fiberglass takes a lot of heat. It's really, really strong. And the best part is, is when, it, when, a, when a plastic part breaks on a fold like this, it's really, really hard to glue together. So the cloth provides uh, reinforcement right along that, that edge uh, to hold the whole thing together. And frankly, the first side was the hardest. I used that table. There's actually a gap there so that the, um, the wing or the outside piece was supported by the edge of the table while the the uh, main part dropped down into a little sort of a groove or a, you know, a lower area. Um, and then eventually I figured out that I needed some clamps to help me hold this whole thing together. I was kind of nervous that the glue was going to glue my clamps to the part, but that didn't happen fortunately. Repeat the process for the other side, which is a whole lot easier now that one side's actually, you know, that is actually held together.
there really is nothing pretty about this stuff. As you trim it, there will be little strands, and um, you know, at the end of the day, there's you know the glue captures it and keeps it from running all you know the strands from running and flying apart. But it, it's there, it's not pretty. There's probably ways to make it pretty if you you know really work fiberglass. But once again, this goes on the bottom side of the car, and uh, I decided it pretty just really wasn't important. I just didn't want anything to get in the way of the bolt holes.